In question 20, we are asked to express this fraction, this expression, sorry, as a single fraction. So the way we do this is exactly like we would do any fraction. So 4 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1. So the lowest common denominator here is both of them. So we just, again, if, if we had, for example, a 2 and a you know, a seven. Say that seven and a two. We would put. We could put fourteen there as the lowest one. So, we're going to put both of them. So it's x minus one and x plus one. So x minus one goes into this expression x plus one times times by the four. The whole expression times by the four will give us four x plus four. Then we've got minus. And again, x plus 1 goes into this whole expression x minus 1 times. So if you multiplied x min plus 1 by x minus 1, you would get this expression, obviously. That x minus 1 times by the 3 gives us 3x minus 3. That's all in bracket. And that minus critically counts for everything in there. So therefore, we're going to end up with 4x plus, turn something to my writing, 4x plus 4 minus 3x plus 3 all over x minus 1, x plus 1. So, what we can do now is the top bit then simplifies to 4x minus 3x is x, 4 plus 3 is 7. The bottom then multiplies out, so x times x is x squared. Then it will be plus x, minus x, so they'll cancel out, and then minus 1, x squared minus 1. And that in fact is the, uh, the end solution, how you write that as. Um, a single fraction so we end up with x plus 7 that's not even legible is it x plus 7 over x squared minus 1